the house, the only one in the entire valley, sat on the top of a low hill. From this height, one could see the river, and the field of rape corn. The only thing the earth needed, was rain, or at least a shower. Throughout the morning, Lancho, who knew his fields well, had done nothing else, but see the sky towards the northeast. Now, we're really going to get some water, woman. Yes. God willing. The older boys were working in the field, while the smaller ones were playing near the house, until the woman called them. Come for dinner. During the meal, big drops of rain began to fall. The air was fresh and sweet. Lencho went out for no other reason than to have the pleasure of feeling rain on his body. And when he returned, he exclaimed, These aren't raindrops falling from the sky. They are new coins. The big drops are ten cent pieces, and the little ones are fives. With a satisfied expression, he observed the field of ripe corn, with its flowers, covered in a curtain of rain. But suddenly a strong wind began to blow, and large hailstones began to fall. These hailstones resembled new silver coins. The boys, exposing themselves to the rain, ran out to collect the silver coin. It's really getting bad now. I hope it passes quickly. It did not pass quickly. For an hour, the hail rained on the house, the garden, the hillside, the cornfield, on the whole valley. The field became white, as if covered with salt. Not a leaf remained on the trees. The corn was totally destroyed. The flowers were gone from the plants. Lencho's soul was filled with sadness. When the storm had passed, he stood in the middle of the field and said to his sons, Even a plague of locusts would have left more than this. The hail has left nothing. This year, we will have no corn. Locust, a grasshopper that destroys crops, that night was a sorrowful one. All our work, for nothing. There's no one who can help us. We'll all go hungry this year. But in the hearts of those who lived in the solitary house in the entire valley, there was a single hope. Help from God. Don't be so upset, even though this seems like a total loss. Remember, no one dies of hunger. That's what they say, no one dies of hunger. All through the night, Lencho thought only of his one hope, the help of God, whose eyes, as he had been instructed, see everything, even what is deep in one's conscience, conscience, inner sense. Lencho was an ox of a man, means, he worked like an animal in the field. But he knew how to write. The following Sunday, at daybreak, he began to write a letter, to God. God, if you don't help me, my family, and I will go hungry this year. I need a hundred pesos in order to sow my field again and to live until the crop comes, because the hailstorm. He wrote to God on the envelope, put the letter inside, and, still troubled, went to town. At the post office, he placed the stamp on the letter, and dropped it into the mailbox. One of the employees, who was a postman, and also helped at the post office, took the letter. <laughs> he showed the letter to the postmaster, a fat and friendly man. <laughs> what faith? I wish I had the faith of the man who wrote this letter. Starting up a correspondence with God. Correspondence? Communication. In order not to shake his faith, we must do something. Answer the letter. But when he opened and read the letter, they realized that they needed something more than goodwill, ink, and paper to answer the letter. But he stuck to his resolution. He asked for money from his employees. He himself gave part of his salary, and some of his friends were obliged to give something for an act of charity. It's impossible to gather a hundred pesos. Let it be. We will send the amount we could get. He put the money in an envelope, addressed to Lencho, and with it, a letter containing only a single word as a signature, God. The following Sunday, Lencho came a bit early, to ask if there was a letter for him. Is there a letter for me? Lencho was not surprised a bit on seeing the letter from God. 
He was confident that God would help him. But when he counted the money, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are only seventy pesos. God could not have made a mistake, nor could he have denied my request. Paper and ink, please. On the public writing table, he started to write. When he finished, he went to the window to buy a stamp, which he attached to the envelope. The moment the letter fell into the mailbox, the postmaster went to open it. God, of the money that I asked for, only seventy pesos reached me. Send me the rest, since I need it very much. But don't send it to me through the mail, because the post office employees are a bunch of crooks. Crook, dishonest. Let's <laughs> <Lacho. laughs>